Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you're interested in today's video. As we all know, due to changes in the external environment, wafer foundries like TSMC and Samsung were banned from providing chip manufacturing services to Huawei. This move also led to problems with Huawei's chip iteration. Only in the past two years did Huawei's Kirin chips gradually return, no longer using the industry's mainstream 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers chip foundry solutions. Against this backdrop, Huawei's chip iteration seems to remain unresolved, and chip manufacturing technology appears to have become the core factor hindering Huawei's chip development. Recently, Huawei's Zhong Pingan made a rare statement on chip issues, explicitly stating that chip manufacturing technology is not the core issue for Huawei's chip performance improvement. The chip foundry bottleneck was resolved by a new solution proposed by the other party, demonstrating Renjing Phase Foresight. It is understood that in today's global chip market, AI chips are undoubtedly the most demanding. However, due to the influence of the external chip foundry industry chain, Huawei's independently developed AI chip products can only be put into production through the domestic industry chain. While other companies use advanced 3 nanometers and 5 nanometers process technologies, Huawei can only use the equivalent domestic 7 nanometers solution. Limited production capacity and yield issues have severely hampered the development of Huawei's AI chips in both domestic and international markets. In response to this predicament, Huawei's Zhong Pingan stated that through architectural optimization, system scheduling, and software enhancements, Huawei has achieved computing efficiency three times higher than that of the NVIDIA H20 AI chip. Specific data shows that the Huawei Ascend 910B chip, on a single card, can generate or decode 2,400 text tokens per second, with each token processing time consistently under 50 milliseconds. This performance directly challenges the industry's conventional wisdom that advanced manufacturing processes determine AI computing power. This also means that Huawei has pioneered a viable alternative in AI and other computing chip fields. Chip manufacturing technology isn't the only way to improve chip performance. Zhang Pingan's statement has dispelled the long-held belief in the chip industry that smaller process numbers represent more advanced technology. More importantly, Zhong Pingan's statement is not groundless. It is based on Huawei's practical achievements in AI computing. As Moore's law approaches its physical limits, the marginal benefits of simply pursuing process scaling are rapidly declining. For example, TSMC has frequently raised its quotes for advanced chip foundry processes. The cost of 2 nanometers chips is at least 50% higher than 3 nanometers, and the company is subject to US export controls, all of which have hampered the commercialization of advanced chip manufacturing processes. Huawei's solution, on the other hand, is achieved through systematic technological innovation at the architectural design level, it employs innovative interconnect technologies like extacking, at the system optimization level, it develops the superpot system to integrate multiple physical machines into a single logical unit. And at the software stack level, it builds a complete AI computing ecosystem. This three-in-one strategy enables Huawei to provide high-performance AI computing services without relying on the most advanced process technologies. For example, Huawei's Ascend 910B chip, manufactured using domestically produced processes, effectively bridges the potential performance gap of single chips through multi-chip interconnection and resource aggregation. This, non more approach aligns closely with Ren Zhengfei's previously proposed strategy of complementing physics with mathematics, non mores approach, and cluster computing with single chips, demonstrating that Huawei has long laid out a system-level innovation path. It now appears that Ren Zhengfei was right. China's single-chip technology is lagging behind the United States. Huawei's best solution lies in supplementing physics with mathematics, non-Moore's law with Moore's law, and single-chip computing with cluster computing. Currently, 
Huawei is accelerating the development of its proprietary high bandwidth memory, HBM, and planning a new generation of products to compete with NVIDIA's Rubin architecture. It is also open sourcing its Kin ecosystem, aiming to break NVIDIA's long standing monopoly on the CUDA ecosystem. According to Huawei's official chip roadmap, the new product, expected to launch in the first quarter of 2026, will support low precision formats such as FB8 and deliver one flops of computing power, marking the deepening of Huawei's strategy to expand from single chips to cluster-level computing. Meanwhile, the Huawei Atlas 960 Superpod, scheduled for launch in 2027, will further integrate photonics and 3D packaging technologies, expected to increase bandwidth by 1.5 times. This system-level innovation not only circumvents process limitations, but also opens up new performance improvement paths, giving Huawei a unique competitive advantage in the AI computing field. Today, it seems Huawei's alternative plan is not only viable, but also has the potential to surpass American chipmakers like NVIDIA in related areas. This is like the automotive industry's transition from gasoline-powered to electric vehicles. Tesla isn't competing on engine speed, but rather redefining the standard for cars in the new era. Huawei's move not only breaks the technological blockade, but also offers a new perspective for the global semiconductor industry. In an era of approaching physical limits, system innovation may be more valuable than single breakthroughs. Renjing Phase Foresight has helped Huawei overcome crisis after crisis. From the Kirin chip supply disruption to the Meng Wanzhou incident, Challenges that other companies would have struggled to overcome have been overcome one by one by Huawei. This may be the core reason why Huawei has quickly become a globally renowned technology company. In summary, when the value of AI chips is no longer determined solely by the manufacturing process, but is instead measured by a comprehensive approach of system efficiency, software ecosystem, and actual application effectiveness, this shift in perspective will drive the development of global AI hardware towards a more sustainable path, emphasizing energy efficiency and practical performance rather than blindly pursuing process miniaturization. When Huawei's Ascend 910B uses real-world data to prove that process is not a core issue, it's not just addressing external technical skepticism, but also redefining the value proposition of AI computing. This paradigm shift triggered by system innovation, may have a more profound impact on global technological development over the next decade than any process breakthrough. What are your thoughts on this? Leave a comment and discuss.